Hello friends, I am Dr. Anurag Saxena, Head of Department of Neurosurgery at Manipal Hospitals, Dwarka, New Delhi. And today we are going to discuss about lifestyle and brain tumor. In other words, what are the causes of brain tumor? What exactly causes the brain tumor? This is one of the commonest questions when, whenever a brain tumor patient comes into our OPD or whenever a family member comes here and asks what exactly caused this kind of tumor. So largely the causes of brain tumor as, as uh, is true for all other cancers and tumors we do not know what exactly causes this particular kind of tumor. However there are certain associations which one should be aware of and then there are modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors. Modifiable risk factors where you can bring up a change in your lifestyle and try to avoid developing certain kind of tumors and cancers and remaining healthy. So remaining healthy is the crux and modifiable risk factor. So if you remain healthy, obviously your ability to fight the disease and your uh, tendency to get the disease reduces. And then there are non-modifiable risk factors. There are risk factors which you are aware of or which you should be aware of, but you cannot change it. So we'll start with non-modifiable risk factors. Now most important is age. Now as commonly thought, brain tumor occurs in older age group patients. It is true that malignant brain tumors are more common in older age, age group uh, patients. And uh, with advent of uh, and rapid availability of diagnostic tests like MRIs and CT scans, we are finding this kind of tumors in younger populations also. But it is not true that brain tumor occurs only in older patients. We have seen brain tumors right from day one of the birth till old age. It is true that the brain tumors in children and infants are different, their presentation is different and their treatment modalities are sometimes different and those present in older ones are different. But there is no particular age group which is free from brain tumor. Other risk factor is the gender. There are certain kind of tumors, especially tumors called as meningiomas, which are commonly found more in female gender as compared to male gender. Race and ethnicity. In our part of the world, it doesn't matter much, but it has been seen that certain kind of tumors are more, com more commonly seen in certain races of people, especially in the countries where there are mixed races of people uh, residing. Then there are histories of previous cancers. So if you have a history of previous cancer, for example, leukemia or other cancer, then obviously the chances of you getting another tumor or cancer increases. Family history is another important non-modifiable risk factor. S certain tumors, very rarely though, run in families and there are certain genetical conditions which one should be aware of, uh, which can cause brain tumors and then can be transmitted in the family. Common examples are neurofibromatosis, and tuberous sclerosis. So there are certain kind of tumors whenever this kind of patients comes to us we tell other family members to be screened, uh, tell them to be to get screened for their uh, genetic abnormalities and be aware that this kind of symptoms can happen. Now one important thing here which, which we should note is that there is no screening test for brain tumor which means even if I do a scan, MRI or a CT scan for you today and you do not get a tumor in that scan it doesn't mean that you are not going to develop a tumor in the future. So this kind of families normally those kind of screening images are not done unless and until they have particular symptom of those kind of diseases. Now there are other mod non-modifiable risk factors which can lie in a gray area can be modified or uh, uh, you know you can prevent the risk is if you have developed previous viral infections. Certain cases especially in HIV patients and uh, certain viruses like uh, Epstein-Barr viruses you see chances of getting brain tumor more as compared to general population. So these are the risks of, these are the non-modifiable risks where you cannot do much but you can be aware of them and you can get yourself checked when you develop any symptoms which are related to your brain. Now we are coming to the modifiable risk factors which means the factors which we can change to remain healthy or prevent certain side effects and risks. Now, regular exercise is one of the most commonest healthy lifestyle which you can, you know, is one of the most commonest talked about healthy lifestyle which you can adopt. It is true that there is no direct correlation between a sedentary lifestyle and brain tumor happening, but it is also true that a 
healthy body is able to fight diseases in a much better way and the disease prevention is much better in a healthy individual as compared to a sedentary lifestyle individual. The other modifiable risk factors are obviously smoking, alcohol. Uh, there is no direct correlation here as well, but it doesn't mean that uh, if you keep on smoking, you will not develop brain tumor. Again, it is a matter of, uh, you know, of, uh, adopting a healthy lifestyle over an unhealthy lifestyle because an unhealthy lifestyle will attract a lot of diseases and brain tumor is obviously one of them. Now other modifiable risk factors includes uses of cell phone. This is a very common question which has been asked more whenever parents come in to uh, for an OBD consultation for any matter in neurosurgery or whenever a brain tumor patient comes in the most common question asked is has the cell phone caused this brain tumor or are the mobile phones which we are using is the cause of brain tumor. The answer is up till now there are no conclusive evidence to link brain, tu uh, brain tumor with mobile users or high mobile users. But we all know that they, they emit radiations, they emit radio frequency radiations, there is electromagnetic field around this kind of devices and obviously this has a lot of consequence on your brain, how your brain functions. So their use should be limited. WHO has uh, recommended certain guidelines and certain uh, advices to you should limit the use of uh, your mobile phone as much as possible if possible use a hands-free or a bluetooth mobile uh, your device to communicate if you are want to be on regularly on the phone and if your job demands to be in a regular communication with other individuals uh, now what you can do as a as a society what you can do how to prevent brain tumor as such you know the brain tumor is, as we all know, like other tumors, we do not know what exactly is the cause. But what we can do as a society is to achieve a healthier lifestyle. And once a healthier lifestyle sets in, there are a lot of diseases which can be controlled and that also includes brain tumor. Thank you.